Hello, everybody Hello. from Florida Parks After Dark. This is Stacy. And I'm George. And Addie. And Mackenzie, sorry. And Mackenzie, <laughs> who's listening to music in the backseat. So, welcome, guys, to Walt Disney World property. <clears throat> We're gonna take you guys on a little driving tour with us tonight. It is January 3rd, 2024, at about 7.40 p.m. And wanted to show you guys crowd volumes. <clears throat> so, the crowds are still much higher than we had anticipated. Yes. It used to be after uh, January 1st that the crowds dropped, but Disney got really smart and they instituted Run Disney because why not? Disney's goal is to keep parks filled every day, right. all day. Right. So it's a Run Disney weekend. So it definitely has been busy. So we are heading to the Contemporary and we are going to watch some Happily Ever After fireworks. We thought we'd bring you guys along for the ride. So. And one of the things you may not know that we are just realizing is that the fireworks from three parks I have fireworks you can see from multiple places you don't have to be in the park you don't have to be in front of the castle you can see it from all over and we're finding more and more places to watch them from so we've heard the contemporary is a great place to see them because they actually literally come right over top of you so we're going there because we got to see that because we love us some fireworks we do love us some fireworks actually I don't know if you guys have seen it on our vlogs but we actually were leaving Hollywood Studios the other night and Luminous started going off. So we actually filmed Luminous for you guys from the parking lot of Hollywood Studios. It was an amazing view. The Skyliner was going. Um, it was just really, really cool. I actually made a short of that for you guys today and it did really, really well. Um, we got a bus going overhead. Boring bus. Academy. Academy. Those are the staff member buses. Addie hopes to be in college. Disney College program one day will be riding one of those buses, hopefully. And Kenzer. We think Kenzie wants to do college program, but she's still, she's still a little young, so she hasn't decided yet. So here we go, guys. Like Peter Pan would say, here we go. There's nothing quite like driving through Disney property. There is just something magical about just being on property. That's why we like to take you guys along with us. We also know that you guys like to see kind of what the crowd levels are like so that if you are planning your next trip, you can kind of decide what time of year works for you based on crowd levels, school schedules, work schedules, and of course, heat, cold, all those things. And the other thing too is I think we've realized as we moved here, we've got a better sense on how the roads work. Because I don't know about any of you, but before we lived here... Don't spoil the Disney magic! It would confuse me. What road went where, what connected to what, what was in the park, what was out of the park, what went to a gate, what went to the Disney... Sp it was a lot. So this, now we got a good sense of We're trying to show you kind of, all right, here's how you get from point A to point B quickly. Right. Disney Transport. Is this Donald? Yeah, I think it is. Nope. Yes. Yeah! some buses oh, there's, there's another, another Donald. Donald there's Donald's everywhere Donald is everywhere I wonder how many buses they made of each character right got lots That's of the buses question coming to the, the other way right. all right so we are on a hunt to see what characters we can make. and keep your eye out guys as we're driving you'll see Signs, and you'll see piles of stuff on the side road. You might even see a bunch of porta pots. The race is tomorrow. Right. Oh yeah. So they're prepping all the roads. This is where the race comes through. They close some of these lanes down, and the runners go down these roads. They go down this road. Shit. Yes. They're gonna run this road. They're gonna run the, that road definitely because that's the signage. So. Oh wow. We are seeing run. signs. And there's a oh, tent. Oh, all right. Oh wow. So you're gonna. Start they are getting, oh, there's porta pots. Oh my. All right. Now you're speaking to my my old runner self. George and I were very, very avid runners. See, here's all our signs. And I have to tell you, it was always a goal of mine to do a Run Disney race. That is one of my few personal goals that I did not meet. But 
I'm so excited for any of you if you're here running or if you ever run Disney. I can't even imagine how they must manage a race. All right. Everything else great. And we got There's the gates to your right. Magic Kingdom. And we are and heading to the Contemporary. Curtain around the side. Follow us some now we also get a great view of the park. I'll tell you how busy the parks are in a second. Wow, Magic Kingdom looks really empty. Like, really empty. I'm guessing all you runners are at home getting rest yeah, for your first right thing. Down. It's not that full. Either. You're right. You know what? It is definitely less Can than average. Can I see? This is Magic no, Kingdom. You're going to screw it up. <laughs> Right. Guys, we're getting a new windshield thing so that we actually can pivot and show you stuff a little bit yeah, better. Yeah, it kind of broke a little bit because we've been using it so much. We actually got two, so now we have one in George's car and one in mine. And I back. love the back of the buses. Do you guys see that? They say, stay magical. What a phrase. Stay magical, right? Be kind and stay magical. I think those are like... What does Cinderella's mom say? Phrases. Have courage and be kind. Have, have courage, courage and, and be, be kind. kind. One of the best lines ever. One of the best. Whoa, who's this? I don't know. There's another Donald going next to There us. goes Donald. There's another Donald. There's a lot of Donalds. Who's this? That's just oh, that's the one we passed. <laughs> hey guys, I'm going to turn around this bus because that flash yeah. is driving me freaking bad here. Yeah. Uh, uh -oh. Let's get around him. All right, who is he? Oh boy. Yeah. Oh no, he's just a Disney transport. Yeah, that flashing will drive you crazy. We got a Pluto over there. A frozen oh my gosh, I just saw Olaf. Did we ever film Olaf? Yeah, we did. <laughs> I don't remember Olaf. I think Olaf. we've seen just about every, every bus, bus they have. Hey guys, we're gonna eventually break into a bus depot and get them all. We're gonna actually make you guys a video of all the buses too. You never know. Oh, there we go guys, contemporary ahead. One of what? the most iconic hotels. Yeah, so cool. I know a lot of you guys that watch this are pretty diehard Disney people, but but if you don't know this, the Contemporary is the only hotel that the monorail actually runs through. It's just so cool. I have to tell you, we've been coming here for decades, and I still just think it's the neatest thing. I know, I love it. Wait, what's the, the, what is lit all red and green? Oh, that's just boat. Oh, that's the, the boat, boat thing. Boat, the boat thing. Hey guys, we're going under Bay Lake right now. What breath? <gasps> Breathe. All right, now do they have the tree up still in the front? All right, let's look for the contemporary. Is the tree up in the front? Please be the tree. Mm. <gasps> oh no, oh, the tree is down. Christmas is going. Oh no, so sad. But. All right, guys. Well, we are here, Space Mountain, and a monorail. Oh, we made it, bud. Oh my gosh, and the monorail lights are turned off too. Oh my. Oh, mask up. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. We are turning into the contemporary. We're going to turn this off to go through security. And um, we'll catch you guys on the other side. Like, comment, subscribe. That's Peter Pan. Because today yes. is the day to live your best, best life, life ever. ever. Welcome to the contemporary, folks. All right, so straight ahead, Bay Lake Tower. Oh, and over here.